the skills which, which comes out of the philosophy and the training of circus art is circus art, you need, you need to trust your partner. So if your partner, if you cannot trust in your partner, you will never succeed in any skill. So you need to trust that your partner will catch you. You need to trust that your partner will carry you. That means in the other way around, you need, you have to become a person anybody and everybody can rely on. Fit for Life is the real realization of an individual dream. It's the individual dream of my friend Habiba Issa. She came in 2009 to Berlin as a volunteer to Ufa Fabrik. She stayed for not more than five weeks, but during that five weeks, we had the presentation of our Children's Circus Festival. <laughs> Habiba Issa saw this Children's Circus Festival and she said she wants to realize a Children's Circus Festival in Dar es Salaam. She was telling me about the Baba Watoto Center. That the colleagues of Habiba, who are actors, musicians here in Dar es Salaam, uh, that they created a kind of volunteer um, activity to train children in art, in music, in dance, a lot of traditional stuff, a lot of uh, modern stuff. When we started even the center, you find artists who really loved by, 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 by the children, the young people. Sports are really loved by the young people. So by having that attraction power that girls and boys love art, then we take that opportunity of using that art as a forum as a, to create a space for these girls and boys. Watoto kabla fit for life. Wakati tunaanza unaona kabisa kwanza mwitikio wenyewe ulikuwa bado ni mdogo mtoto anaweza kaja leo kesho asije kwa sababu hajajua maana hasa kitogani ambacho tunaenda kukifanya lakini pia hata uh, vifaa vya kufanyia kazi utaalamu wenyewe ulikuwa bado ni utaalamu ambao upo chapwa sana lakini katika hii safari ya miaka mitatu kuna uh, mafanikio makubwa sana sababu kuna watoto ambao mwanzoni walikuwaepo hata wazazi wao wanawapokea wana wao kama vile watoto watukutu lakini sasa hivi wanaona ni kama watoto ambao wamewajisha heshima katika familia zao I name is Yamis Bakali kabla sijaingia watoto nilikuwaepo mtukutu nilikuwaepo mwenzi wa kuku nilikuwaepo napiga watoto wa watu nilikuwa ba kuku sio kama nipeleke nyumbani kwa tamaa zangu mimi mwenyewe nilipigana the, the center was uh, established really to respond to the need uh, of the happenings in that community at Dimburahadi. There was a high crime, a high rate of crime. There was a lot of pickpocketing, a lot of robbery, and most of them were done by young people. So this kind of experience was really uh, sympathetic and it triggered the thinking of how do we support the children and how do we support the youth. Here in um, Brahati, in this poor town quarter, the kids, they, will be, they won't be able to have a, a, a long school education, often because the parents don't have the money to pay the school. So they are going to the streets and to the streets very early they work. They work like selling things, but they also work in kind of difficult situation, then there can be the, the challenge for them is to not to get pregnant for the woman, not to have a husband like in uh, when they are all 
almost 14, not older, to, you know, to keep on going, to make something out of their living. That's the real challenge. Mkataba Fitifu Life, kabla ya, kwa sabi nilikuwa ni mtu tuwa mtani, kwa sabi nilikuwa na naangaika, nilikuwa sinu na msimamo, na kitu changu ambacho nasema, hichi ni chakwa angu, na kifanya. Mimi, nilikuwa na fikiria, labda wakati wanasoma wanafunzi, na yeye anakuenda kubaba watoto, inaweza shuguli mbili zikafanya nini, mwoja ataiweza, nyingine akaweza kapeleza masomo. Lakini, hakufanya hivyo. Mwalimu wao, mkude, alikuwa anakuja hapa na nifahamisha, na kila napo kuenda nao, anatoa tarifa. Mimi leo watoto watachelewa kuja na anawulisha hata kama usiku wakitoka kwenye show yao. Na mawasiliano nae mazuri, toka nivu mchukua toka kwa mdogo. Kwa na mawasiliano nae mazuri, chotoki na chotokia kwa mwajabu, lazima nionge nae, nionge nae kwa simu, na uwa napenda sana kuniuliza mwajabu wa mekudia, wajaja. Kwa ni mmoja wapu ambaye na muambia mwajabu, aweze kuja baba watoto baada kuona kwa baba watoto ni kito chaina gani. I have a dream of coming to see a community of boys and men who are engaged in protecting girls and women. Yeah, making men and the women uh, its partners, which is not the case now. But through dialogue, through interventions we are doing now, uh, we will hope to, to get there. But also having girls who can really come to their full potentials. Because I say, we imefikia stage na tambua kabisa kwamba mimi ni mwalimu wa kitu fulani na naendelea kufanya kitu fulani. Kwa hiyo mkataba unavoisha au mradi of for life unavoisha nitaendelea kufanya zaidi na zaidi ili nifike mbele. Yaani yani mimi hapa nataka niwe kama mwalimu. Yaani mwalimu atapeza. Yaani kama kitu cha kazi tunaenda kufanya. Na kitu cha performance tunaweza kwenda ku performance. Yaani nataka niwe yani kama nataka niwe yani start wa salakas everybody has a chance to support fit for life and the baba watoto center and if you do so by uh, spending by giving money for material buying the show for your birthday party you will be an rich person because what you get back is uh, is young people who are motivated to support their own society watoto wengi wamekuja wa rika mbalimbali wa aina mbalimbali wa mataifa mbalimbali na wamefurahia tamasha la watoto la sarakasi mtoto ameruka sarakasi wamezifurahia wamepata training kwa hiyo kwa kweli ndoto yangu imetimia nimefurahi sana